Who owns the fella? Well, come on then, Bollock. Are you introducing yourself or what? Hi, I'm Michelle's cousin, James. Why is he making that funny noise? He's English, Ola. That's the way they talk. He's me to Kathy's way. I told you about me to Kathy. She went to England years ago to have an abortion, never came back. Never got the abortion either. Look at you, James, eh? Huh? I didn't actually know that. What did he say? Nothing interesting. What's he doing here? Kathy's just got divorced, so she's moved back. The husband caught her doing the dirt on him. She's a bit of a goer, is our Kathy? Riding rings around him, so she was. Isn't that right, James? No, I mean, here at our bus stop. Oh, he's going to our school. But he's a fella. And a feminine fella, but a fella all the same. Everyone was shitting it about sending him to the boys' school. They were worried the other lads would beat him up because, well... He's English. And he couldn't really blame them, I suppose. James will be the first ever boy to study here at Our Lady Immaculate College. He was due to start a Christian Brother Boys, but there were serious concerns for his safety because, well, unfortunately, James happens to be English. <laughs> but let me make one thing clear. I will not have a repeat of the Mr Mullen affair. Is that understood? What's the Mr Mullen affair? Student teacher. Two fourth years cable tied him to the monkey bars and started dry riding him. He was really good looking, so you have nothing to worry about. I'm really looking forward to making friends with some lads. Lads aren't going to make friends with you, James. Lads make friends with other lads. I am a lad. So you are, James. <laughs> We're still on William of Orange, Michelle. We haven't so much luck at the famine. We've got the gist. They ran out of spots. Everyone was raging. Well, I can't tell my rebellions from my risings. And whose fault's that? If your lot had stopped invading us for five fucking minutes, there'd be a lot less to wade through. If we go to Paris, I'd like to meet Nicole. Who's Nicole? For God's sake, how many times? It's just an ad. She's not a real person. Neither is Papa. It'd be good conversation practice as well, you know, for the orals. <gasps> Which will be the only oral that you... Yeah, OK, Michelle. You let me finish? Well, I sense where you're going. I don't feel so bad about missing it now. It clashes with my thing. The creep convention, seriously? It's not a creep convention. Well, I think a load of perverts getting together to wank over some fella who fights with hoovers and rides aliens in a telephone box is the very fucking definition of a creep convention. It's a Doctor Who night. Me and my stepdad used to watch it when I was little. Well, someone should have called social services then, James. Directly before the weeping, can you remember what you were doing, what you were talking about? I remember that James was being a dick. Miss Mallon. I don't like to use that word, sister, but it's so hard to describe James any other way because he's just such a dick. My family's going funny just thinking about it. Well, could you not use that word, Michelle? What family? Why do you always have to be so coarse? Oh, what's the big deal? We all have one. I don't. You are one. Why hey, James isn't even speaking to me? Don't worry about James. James doesn't count. You're unbelievable! God, this is so itchy now. Don't blame me. Blame the milk tree man. This is really serious, Michelle. People have gone to jail for this. Why is this place so mental? That's enough, James. You have serious fucking anger management issues. Do you know that? So, as far as I can make out, you think you left this James character with the gypsies? Travellers. The small annoying one thinks we should go back for him because... Oh, they were so angry with us, he could be in real danger, Rita! And the mouthy curly one thinks we shouldn't because... Because he's a dickhead, Rita? He said it's tricky. Oh, come on, Michelle! If we go back for him, we're going to miss the start of the concert. But he's your cousin. He hasn't lost a cousin or two in their time. I can't find the boys' toilets anywhere. It's an all gear school, dick face. There are no boys' toilets. So should I just use the girls' toilets? No, you should not, you fucking pervert. I mean, how in class would it be to have a Chinese friend? Fine. But can we agree it's on a strict one in, one out basis? If she joins a group, James has to leave. Of course, absolutely. Excuse me? It's Bardie's corpse. It's Bardie's dead corpse. It's her wake. What were you expecting? Haven't you ever seen a dead body before? Of course not. <laughs> Christ, but the English are weird. I'm okay. Thanks. What? I don't really want anything. You don't want anything? How could you not want anything? It's lovely. I just don't really fancy it. That's all. I don't understand. Are you not feeling well, James? I don't like it! OK? It's too greasy! It's much, much too greasy! Even the smell of it makes me feel physically sick! I'm sorry that you had to hear that, Fanola. You're a fucking embarrassment. Get him out of here!